There are three false beliefs that many first-time homebuyers, many renters have, and I wanna cover those three false beliefs in this, in this video. And I bet you're gonna identify with at least one of them, maybe two of them, maybe all three of them. And guess what? It's not your fault. These false beliefs or lies have been fed to us as consumers by the media. They're not telling you the truth. I'm here to tell you the truth because I want to help you buy a home because I believe everyone deserves the opportunity to buy a home. So the first myth or lie that I hear all the time, and it always comes up in surveys of renters, over 50% of renters always seem to believe that they have to put 20% down to buy a home. Because that gets repeated so many times by the media, by politicians. It's not true! You can buy a home with a conventional home with as little as 3% down. FHA, 3.5% down. VA, no money down. Or I also do a lot of down payment assistance loans where your down payment is zero. It can be done. So just know that there's opportunities. Like last year, I helped 18 first-time home buyers buy a home with no down payment using down payment assistance. This year, I've already helped eight people when no one else is doing it because it's, quote, too hard. Bull! I can get it done. You can buy a home with potentially no money down. Now, you'll have some other money to bring, but there's potentially no down payment for you. And so if you like what you're hearing, before I go to the second tip, I encourage you to please like this page, subscribe, you know, forward it on to others. So the second lie or false belief that people have is that they gotta have a perfect credit score. You know, you need an 800 credit score to buy a home. Now it helps you to have an 800 credit score, it makes it a little easier to buy a home, but you honestly, with FHA or VA, can buy a home with a 580 credit score and with a conventional loan as low as 620. Now with a small down payment of three or 5% on a conventional loan, you usually do need at least a 680 FICO score. But you don't need perfect credit and I and my team can help you improve your credit. So don't fall into that false belief or lie that you have to have perfect credit. The third belief, false belief or lie that I hear from so many renters is they believe their student loans are keeping them from buying a home. If I had a dollar for every time someone in the media or a politician said that student loan debt is keeping millions of Americans from buying a home, I'd be a millionaire. I'd have an extra million dollars in my bank account because we hear it daily from the media and politicians. But let me tell you the truth. Yeah, student loan debt can be obtrusive and it can keep you from buying a home, but for most people it doesn't. You know, like right now here during COVID, at least through September, there's no payment required on nearly every student loan. And what's so amazing, you know, like say with that, we as a lender, if we follow Freddie Mac's guidelines or FHA's guidelines, we only have to count a half of 1% of the balance owed as your monthly payment. And so like say for example, you owe 50,000 on your student loans. Your monthly payment that we would calculate for you is 250 a month. For most home buyers, 250 a month payment isn't going to keep them from buying a home. And so, you know, another tip here is like say if you, you know if this uh, COVID rule goes away soon, what I encourage you to do is talk to your student loan provider and do everything you can to get a lower payment. And just realize this with student loan payments, you know, if you can reduce your payment by hundred bucks a month, that means an extra $25,000 of home buying power for you. So I encourage you to get your student loan payments low or take advantage of the rules right now where you don't have a student loan payment most likely and go buy a home. So I hope today's video has helped erase or eliminate some of these false beliefs that maybe you had. 
And so, you know, to learn more of the truth, feel free to contact me down below, and I'd be happy to talk with you further here through the comment section.